What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Tuesday, January the 24th, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to bring some good news here, the journey of BOJ and then the journey of Novatech. Before we get started in that short, brief good news, because it doesn't have to be long. It's going to be strong. I want to remind all of you that I'm not a financial advisor, though. This is not financial advice, and I'm not your financial advisor just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less. Um, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially received our first withdrawal from the Quickie Pay processing at Nova Tech. Got to clap that up. It's important for many reasons. In my journey, it's, it's first of all, it's, it's been a little while since I've gotten the withdrawals from Novatech. Uh, some of you may know about what's been going on with the different uh, transitions between um, payment processors going on with Novatech and what that has caused and also some other things. Um, but there has been a delay. There's been a, um, withdrawals that we've been experiencing, just like a lot of you. And the last withdrawal that I placed was on uh, the Saturday before last. And I was waiting on that. I had canceled my uh, previous withdrawal to that and decided to do just one bigger bulk um, withdrawal when my next earnings came out and the Saturday bonus hit and all that different stuff. So uh, I decided to do it and I had been waiting for a little while and I was patient and I wasn't tripping and we had finally received it. Got to clap it up. I'm excited about that. I don't know if, if you guys are, but um, I'm optimistic. I had already been seeing a lot of comments from people saying that they had received theirs, and I was optimistic that I was going to receive mine, but there's nothing better than actually seeing it hit your wallet. Um, so that's it. That's all the news I wanted to bring today. I, I mean, I think it's important in the journey to um, document, of course, when a platform is having issues like these. It's not very often that they um, show signs of bouncing back but it's very often that we have mentioned on this uh, channel here that we don't personally believe that Novatech is just like any other opportunity that we've been in in the space uh, this is something that um, we are hoping will be around for a long time of course it's had its issues um, and what growing platform company opportunity doesn't um, growing pains is a part of everything and we're not saying that uh, Novatech is going to be around forever. Nobody's saying that. Nobody's guaranteeing anything. But what we are saying is that they just continue to deliver, even though it's delayed. It hasn't been denied. And that's what I'm here to say. Uh, you know, we don't fall in love with platforms here, but we love the opportunity that these platforms give us. And we have just continued to stay on the ground with Novatech. You know, we continue to talk about the ups and the downs. We don't we don't cut them any cards. You know, we've, all, we, we've said there's still issues that still need to be resolved. There's still um, portions of support that need to be fixed. There's still um, communications that probably need to be more efficient on their end. But the beauty of it is, is they already know that. And we don't have to tell them that. I don't have to tell them that. They already are very aware of what is going on. Um, like Cynthia has said many times, there's a lot of things that uh, go on problems and issues that she knows about before we even do. She is a user of this system as well. So um, I have a lot of confidence in Novatech. Um, of course, I don't have all my ducks in Novatech because that's not smart. And of course, we only come to this space with money or, or funds or whatever you want to call it, crypto, that we are first um, willing to part ways with because at the end of the day, once it leaves our wallet, it's no longer ours. We have to own up to that, right? But at the end of the day, um, when we make that deposit, we all have aspirations of earning and gaining in the space. That's why we're here. And as you hear the ching ching noise in the background, something else is paying, but that's just the beauty of the space. It's, it's provided so much opportunity and Novatech is just one of those things that yes, it may be going through some growing pains right now, but me personally, I have decided to stay patient with the process. Uh, just keep on working through it. And, and of course we've got other things to talk about. We're well diversified. So it's not like we're waiting on our, on, on, uh, on a whim or, or hoping and praying that Novatech is just going to work again. We have already prepared ourselves for the worst in Novatech, you know, as we all should. We all should have some kind of plan 
to prepare ourselves. Some have uh, practiced their risk management from, by withdrawing from their trading balances. Some have pulled their whole trading balances and decided to leave. Um, I haven't decided to do that. That's not on my agenda. Um, I plan on continuing to uh, have my trading balance in full and earning for me because I've worked so hard to build it. And that's just where I stand with that. And um, I've had these goals for a long time. And as long as Novatech is going to continue to do what they're doing, paying out and trying to find new and better ways to do business and, and, and be a great tool for the consumer, um, I'm going to be here to do that. That's what I'm, you know, that's what this journey is all about. So with that being said, um, just wanted to bring some brief good news to you guys. Uh, I know a lot of people have already experienced this for themselves, but it's nothing like when it happens to you, right? And, uh, uh, that's all I do here. I just talk about my journey. I don't try to convince anybody to do anything. It's all your choice. It's all what you want to do. And uh, you all have to, we all have to decide what we want out of our lives. And this is just a part of the thing um, that keeps uh, me going. Novatech is a part of my toolbox and I'm enjoying the tool and using the tool for what it is. For the, with that being said, um, this is Novatech. This is just a brief update and uh, please put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west, y'all. If you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. All right. It's not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to be updated, and notified about everything going on here at BOJ. Just make sure you hit that notification bell as well. All right. I will see y'all in the next video. This is Novatech, and uh, happy to say you got a withdrawal. Peace out.